Alright, so we'll just continue where we left off. Um, in the last video. When it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Wait a Metro, there were no survivors of the last Wait war. Wait a minute. We are alone no, on this no, planet. No, 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 I already did this mission. And in the Metro, it's common no. Wait a minute. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was minute, immediately droned out by the static. But I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there, under the skies, there's still a habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me. Wait a second. We already did this mission. Um... What? Um, I don't want me even load in. Um, okay. It's still not loaded in, I guess. I, I'm almost sure we did this mission last time. Uh, and if we have to do it again, I think we're just gonna take a little break from the state for a little bit. As it took me a while to beat this mission. How long is it going to take for this to load? Alright, there we go. Alright. You have to restart. Good. Oh, Alright, we gotta we gotta kill these guys. No, oh, come on, come on. Where's this boy? 
Boom. Take that hunter. Good thing we didn't have to be touched. Oh my god, they're oh, killed! Thank good. goodness you're okay! Miller. We kind of have to now claim. We are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Alright. Kind of curious how Miller's gonna explain this away. So now we've caught up to where we left off last episode. Why their own faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying oh, to Miller. kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. <laughs> we should be out of the jamming range by now. So give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for one just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise... Wait a moment, what was that? The location is code 1811-7. Listen, everyone! Area 1811-7. Area one eight five. I think it's just. So the route from here should go. Uh, 
But I, I think the Russian government goal. is just... So, why? is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the <laughs> lake. Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> reaction. So I think the moment calls for. Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Yeah. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Come on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! To the Aurora. Nope. What? <laughs> 15 hey, years. Let's right take there. a look at that map. Alright, we had a run. Would be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's chance. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. A while, probably. Oh, I'm, uh, I was expecting mail from a kitten, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> 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 Let me look at the collectibles. It's a diary. Mushroom memo. All right. So the next mission is winter. All right. And we got you no sure postcards from okay? the last mission. Because I know you. <laughs> I know, yeah. Let's go the train a little bit. See what we're looking at. So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? But not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you yeah. telling me how you took your mask off atop a stonkin otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Yeah. Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. You would think that the person named Idiot would have a very long philosophical conversation. I like that. I like that a lot. I wouldn't be able to use this book though. Uh, excuse me, Anna. Yeah, I thought we could use this book. Diary. Must know when it's been used. Since our teams heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe that we were we are not alone on that? No, sir. My wife, my comrades from the order, my people, and people from my station. Nobody believes me. They're sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that saves safe for us who hid in Moscow Metro. There were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro, it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio for my own ears. Yes, it was immediately ran out by the static, but I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there under the skies, there's still a habitable place where not domed 
We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, no one can. Okay, I'll read the next entry when we finish the mission. Alright, so Anna. Oh, this is this is a lot of reading. Miller, Dunmark. Oh, there's a lot of people. Um, I will read this at a later date. That I should just mention now. Yeah, I'll read through all of this later. This is a lot. No, what should we do? The no. I'll read this way. I'll dedicate an episode to reading that, because you know what? <laughs> That's a lot. How long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Here's the thing, I don't believe that it's being occupied. I, I just, I think that it, it doesn't make sense. It just, it just doesn't. Like, who would occupy them post-nuclear war? I, I, I just... It doesn't add up to me. But we will find out next episode if this is truly a true statement or if it's all just a bunch of lies spread by these government boys. See you guys next time.